You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benro and Lee Robertson. What are you, do what are you doing? Spell that. No, <laughs> I shan't. You can't make me. Oh, hello. Um, what was all that about? Why are we in a long sleeve blouse? Because it's very hot. <laughs> Why are we wearing a long sleeve blouse? Yeah, it's very warm. Because I don't want you to wear a long sleeve blouse. Okay. I'm also wearing full length trousers, but I do have a rip in the backside. Oh, uh, well, that's a given. You ask for that to be done when you go and buy pants, <laughs> don't you? Eat through them. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got for us today then, Mike? Well, I have a story about a dog and its devilish ways before we do a little bit of globe trotting, well, mincing, in Wish You Were Queer. Ooh, and we even have a game for you that you can play along with. But on your screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Cud TV on your social media. And if you want to catch up with previous episodes, you can always binge us on YouTube. Look for Chewing the Cud. You can see the names of people reached out on social media going along the bottom of the screen. But now we have Lee in the showbiz. <laughs> So, it's been a while since we've spoken about this person. <laughs> Is it? Um, Has it? Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, <laughs> so, this, this, is, this is the headline. Racy Sam Smith portrait hunging National Portrait Gallery. An honour. That's, that's where you would hang a portrait in a portrait gallery. Sam Smith has celebrated uh -huh. by having their um, portrait hung in the National Portrait Gallery portrait gallery, uh -huh. dubbing it a dream come true. Okay. This isn't the portrait. This is a picture of Sam Smith um, cosplaying um, Henry VIII. Okay. Um, which is very hip at the moment. Is it really? Yeah. Um, Actually, really? No, I made that up. Okay. Um, they're having a big year this year, so it's ten years uh -huh. since they released their Grammy award-winning debut album in The Lonely Hour. It is. I um, think the mist covered off about the rechanging some of the lyrics. The rejiggling to re round. the lyrics to, to celebrate okay. their, their new, um, more open identity. That's good. But as from the end of August, uh -huh. you can go and see this portrait in the gallery. It's part of their new History Makers display. Oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't... Yeah. What do we think of that? Uh, it's definitely a portrait. Well, it was done by... Um, they're a very famous artist couple called Old. Pierre Agie. <gasps> oh! Um... And it's their kind of partners. I think it's Pierre Comoy and Gilles Blanchard. Uh-huh. Um, who's... They've done, like... Loads of people. Loads of famous people. Kylie. 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 Have they done um, Danny? Kylie. Not Danny. Did, I don't think they did Danny. No, because they did Kylie. <laughs> so it's their own personal portrait mm -hmm. that they're going to loan to the gallery for people to go and look at it. OK. Uh, they, they're saying it's a combination of photography and painting, mm -hmm. and it's called Gloria, which is the name of their last album. album. That's a coincidence. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, good for them. I like, I think Mist has said that they're going to re-release The Lonely Hour, mm -hmm. um, edited to reflect the singer's non-binary identity. Yep. Um, and a never-before-heard edit of I'm Not the Only One mm -hmm. with Alicia Keys. Ooh, nice. Mm. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, shall we, shall we go and released? look at it? Shall we go and have a trip and look at the picture and you, the you, others? You do the driving, I'll bring the sandwiches. Oh, I was, I was train. OK. Mm. OK. Not bringing sandwiches, then. Mm. Um, so, next up, uh -huh. Russell Tovey. Mm. Now, do you... Are you... A, are you does he float your boat? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Oh. So like in, in Capote versus the Swans, that feud thing, right? Not at all. No, not at all. Not at Barely all. got a lazy love on. No, didn't even get a slight... Bit of a retreat, in fact. Oh! Right? Not, not for me at all. Years and years. Oh, OK. Well, you might get, you might get an instant erection now because okay. he's set to star in the new Doctor Who spin-off. Oh, my God, you've gone hard. I can see it. I'm, I'm warning you. Oh, well, I've got... I oh, know you're like... Nim, 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 spring it, uh -huh. nim, spring it. It's not even been filmed yet, so chill okay, out. Right then. Um, it's going to be called the... Um, see, you, you got me so excited then that I, 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 I had to I fast forward it with that <laughs> thing. Um, um, it is, it's a spin-off called The War Between the Land and the Sea. OK. And um, Rusty Davis 
is writing it. It's, his role is currently unnamed. Okay. Um, we've got a picture of Russell Tovey here. She's just shirtless. Okay, just, just always for good. the sake of it. Um, see. Now, he's, he's, he's going into daddy territory, isn't he? He's been in daddy territory for a little while. I see. I see. Yeah. Um, so, um, did you watch that, that comedy sketch he was in? No. Um, no. No, no. No, don't watch TV. Um, <laughs> no, I'm um, juice with... Um, oh, I can't remember his name now. He's in a comedy show with someone okay. who played a gay, older gay man there and he's very oh, daddy. Okay. Um, he's going to feature alongside Loki's... Now, I'm going to say this name and I don't know if I'm going to say it right. Gugu Mabatha Raw, okay. um, who I haven't, I haven't watched Loki, so I don't I don't know, um, and 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 it's set to focus on Doctor Who's military organization unit. Okay, um, United um, Nations Intelligence Task Force. Oh, what a geek! Um, who will be in a deadly battle with the Time Lords' old foes, the Sea Devils? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's a, that's the Sea Devil. That is the Sea Devil. Shit, isn't it? They brought them back for a um, an episode, and they're just yeah, they're they're not great. It's a turtle in a mesh top, isn't it? <laughs> you can see that in any gay club on a Saturday night. That's um, a turtle in a gay in a mesh top. Yeah, that I know who that is, and that is that's Sean Pertwee, John Pertwee, <laughs> John Pertwee. Yes, yes that's Sean was, Pertwee. That's his son. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently, this is the blurb. When a fearsome and ancient species emerges from the ocean, it's a bit like when when Dean was born, wasn't it? Downstairs, he kind of just emerged from the ocean. On all fours, um, dramatically revealing themselves to humanity, an international crisis occurs. Okay. Yeah. Um, he Russell Tovey was in the two thousand and seven Christmas special. Mm -hmm. Voyage of the Damned, alongside um, a little known actress, singer, gay icon Ky Kylie Minogue. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then he was later set up in a character Alfonso frame yep. as a date with Captain Jack Harkness. Mm -hmm. mm. Apparently it says, it, and this is a huge, muscular, thrilling drama, which will Didn't shake the... Top off and do that a lot, <laughs> Which will shake the Hooniverse... Is that what you people call it? Let's just move on. To its foundations. When the Doctor's not in town, the whole humanity is in trouble. No current release date, but it'll be on BBC One and BBC iPlayer in the UK and on Disney Plus internationally. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll put a little note in my diary for that. No, you won't. No, I won't. Well. No. Um, last bit of showbiz news. A bit dark. But also a little bit funny. Um, Whoopi Goldberg, fav favourite actress for lots of people. Um, I, like, I like Whoopi. I think now she does the version of Loose Women in America. Uh -huh. she, she's been speaking about how um, uh, her mother died quite a few years ago. Uh -huh. Very close to her mother. And she's, but she's only just now told people what she did with her late mother's ashes. Her late mother's called Emma Johnson. Uh -huh. She chose an unorthodox location to, to um, release the ashes. Um, it was in uh, Disneyland. Okay. In Florida. Um, she, so, she, so Whoopi has recently uh, published a book, My Brother, My Mother, My Brother and Me, which is a, is a um, kind of memory of a mom and her brother who died in, in 2015. But she was on something like, I think it was Late, late Night with somebody in the oh. America, in the America. Um, and she revealed that her mom had previously been to Disney World, loved it when she was alive. <laughs> yeah. Um, loved it. And then Whoopi went back with the ashes, uh -huh. went on the It's a Small World ride and scattered the ashes in the water. Oh, dear. Um, Is that why you're not allowed to drink the water? That's, that's, a, that's a segment of, of It's a Small World. That's your bedroom. It, it, no. It's, it's not got enough glitter. Yeah. It's not um, camp enough. It's, a, it's illegal. It's against the law for you to spread ashes in Disneyland. Now, here's the thing. Disneyland is private property, so it can't be illegal. They don't like it. 
Um, so she said she was, um, she pretended to, so she was on the ride, she pretended to sneeze mm-hmm. um, and then released the ashes when she sneezed. Um, I scooped up some of her and I do this. I said, my God, this cold is getting worse and worse. <laughs> and yeah. Um, and, but then she said that she felt quite guilty. So she then went and confessed to the people at Disneyland, what are they going to do now? Because it's like all in, it's floating in the water. Um, yeah, um, and uh, it's discouraged from from, discouraged. from doing that. But yeah. mm. My my favourite spreading of, of Ash's story um, was a woman eating her husband in a curry so she could feel him dribble out for one last time. You made that up. I did. <laughs> God, I was so gullible for the minute. I was like going, ah... Then I thought, oh, it's Mike, he's made it up, that. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Did you know if you spell orange backwards, it spells gullible? A. How? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> stick around, because after this, it's Mike in the buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now we go into the deeper parts of the internet as it's Mike and the Buzz. My fingers smell like beef. Beef. Why, why is that? Beef you... monster munch. Oh, okay, I thought you'd That's had it. Where... I was a bit worried then. I was oh, like, oh. I like that sneaky finger during the break. Anyway, um, now, have you ever had the thought you've left the cooker on. Again, or the twice. iron sort of thing. You know, yeah. you're, driving, you're driving away from home, you go, ooh, did I leave it on? Mm. Yeah, once or twice. Once or twice. I once woke up thinking that I'd left the iron on overnight sort of thing. Oh. I hadn't, because I hadn't ironed for many days. Oh. Um, but still. Um, the first story is about a dog. Who... Got any jail of? It's not okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, first story I have is about a dog. Mm-hmm. Okay, who basically tried to kill off their owner oh, by, set, okay? by setting the house on fire. Was it, was, it, was it on speed? I don't think so, no. On uh, purpose? On purpose. Oh. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> a, a, turn around. Turn around. All right. Um, so, the dogs turned on the stove at like 4 a.m. in the morning in oh, Colorado. Demon. Right? And walks away. And the stuff on top of the stove, which starts to catch fire. And did they did the fire alarm go off and then they realised that it was the house was on fire? Colorado Fire Department put out the fire. The house actually set on fire. Uh huh. Oh, full on blaze. Um, and the owners didn't make it. They did. I'm just. <laughs> oh, what a what a what a shithead! <laughs> like third time today you've caught me out like that. I'm like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. But orange spelled backwards. Yeah, I just found a dog with a roasted finger in its mouth. You're going nom 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 nom. <laughs> Who needs a frying pan when you can set the house ablaze? Family of four. Um, but that got me thinking. You know, would other dogs do the same thing? I need more information. So, <laughs> what do you need? The dog reached up, hit the stove on house. On purpose. Down. Well, we can't question the motives of a dog. And it's, not, it's quite hard to do it accidentally. But then, did they keep the it side. afterwards well, because it tried burn- to kill them? Another dog. I yeah. Think like a stove. I'm like, no, the stove's pretty ruined. <laughs> kill a stove. <laughs> um, did they keep the dog afterwards? Yeah. But he tried to kill them. Is it the first time that happened? Oh, yeah, let him off the first time. Don't you just smack the nose and go, naughty, don't do it again. I think it's possessed. You think it's possessed. Okay. Got me thinking about other dogs that may do the same thing. Mm. And so I, I thought I'd share a picture of two that would probably try and kill their owners. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For different reasons, I, I mean, believe. yours, clearly. I mean, George is very unhappy that I've just woken him up. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because you should always let sleeping dogs lie. Right? And Nell's looking at you going, what the f*** have you put on my head? No, Nell's going, <laughs> Nell's going, just get on with it and then give me the treat. That is, that, that, we've been here before. That's, <laughs> that's all she's doing. Um, so uh, that, that is my dog in black and white. In black and white, and monochrome picture white of a dog. Foot, yes, Nell. Yes, Nelly Furtado. N- Nelly Furtado. Uh-huh. And then we have the, the adorable George Susan Deferred. Benny and Ben <laughs> Benny and Roe. Benny and Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, my dog would not try to kill 
people. Well, I, other people, not me. <laughs> I think your dog might try and kill you if you ever tried to wake her up while she was sleeping. Mm, are you going to... Have you got that <laughs> clip? No. I'm not going to share that picture, that clip of you panicking. No. Because, yeah. She was in very deep sleep. <laughs> deep sleep, and you yeah. thought she died, so you yeah. woke her up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, George, however, doesn't sleep deeply. He just wakes up and goes, I'm awake now. Because oh. he still thinks he's two. Um, but moving from one fire to another. Dumpster fire. We're not talking about that. Um, so, dominatrixes. Dominatrixes? Dominatrix I. Dominatri? Dominatrix. Dominatrix. Dominate. Num, 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 what is the plural for a dominatrix? Write in if you know. Or well, don't. <laughs> so, um, has been basically slapped with a large fine. A dominatrix. Dominatrix has been slapped singular. with a large fine. Yes, yeah, singular. Just the one. Just the one. Just the one slapped with a large fine. Um, what do you think this dominatrix has been slapped with a large fine for? Mm, killing a client. Oh, not quite. Um, the <laughs> local fire service have slapped an £8,000 fine on a dominatrix because they basically were breaking fire regulations as they had people chained up in a room that wasn't safe. But isn't, but isn't that what they do? Yeah, but this one's been fact because it's not... If there was a fire, there was no way of the person getting out. Oh, it and was so not it a safe wasn't a safe dungeon. Whipping. No. Oh, OK. But then, if you were chained up and you were paying for someone to chain you up, would you want to be able to escape? I think if the, if you, if it was if the room was on fire and you were burning to death, I don't think you'd go, oh, that's an extra. You'd be go, I need to get out. It's <laughs> an extra I wasn't expecting. Um, yeah. You'd fly in ball gag, though, how do you know? You'd know as the heat got... Um, it's like that scene at a final destination, whatever it was. where the man, Yeah, when he was in, the bloke was having acupuncture. OK. And the room set on fire. And then he died. I think it's still really itchy. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one cares. No one cares about you. It, um, she did it. I mean, it doesn't look particularly pleasant anyway, does it? It looks a bit... It looks a bit cheap. It looks also. like... Is it? Is it in a kitchen? No, it's in a separate room. OK. But it just looks a bit... That it doesn't look very well padded. rubby and horrible. It looks... Yeah. It doesn't look good. Was it in this country? Was it, it was. Oh. It was in Stockport. Yeah. Because, you know, if they were in, like, Australia, they wouldn't be getting an £8,000 bill. Well, but, I thought you might have converted it to English for, for people to understand in this country. <laughs> so if you'd have just had a smoke... Alarm, she would have been okay. If she had a way of them getting out safely in case of fire. Right. Like, in case of fire, smash ball gag, I don't know. Did they have a safe word? What is that? You've played the Gobby Game Show. It's not that easy to have a safe word. Well, I mean... Safe word is banana. It's If you're going to run a home business, then you should have the right things, shouldn't you? You really? should do. Mm. Like itchy finger cream. Itchy finger cream. And if you, if you have an itchy digit and need to put a ring on it, apparently, uh, why not share that with us? It's at the Cut TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. And this is about a man who's been stuck at sea for over a year. <gasps> he got lost. Yeah, he got lost. Is he one of those... He was, um, he was dipping out to Sainsbury's in his car, took a left, suddenly in the sea. Or is he one of those um, flat earthers? And then he's realised it isn't flat. It's keeps just keep going around the globe. <laughs> yeah. Did um, I mention my finger was really itchy? <laughs> Why is your finger itchy? I don't know. Anyway, back to the... Stop scratching it. Back to the man that's in, at the sea. Man at sea. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's lost at sea for 438 days. Jose Algavara... Um, Basically, was left stranded after his fishing boat encountered bad weather. Okay. So basically, his engine stopped working. He was, I was going to say, up shit creek without a paddle. Um, but he has said there's something that's kept him going through that entire time. Cocaine sharks. No. He said that during being lost at sea, he had the best sex ever. The shark. <laughs> the shark. <laughs> You're referring to last week's shark cocaine <laughs> story, still, aren't you? Yeah. The fish. Yeah, the best sex ever he had, right? Did he fish? <laughs> no, he didn't fish. I think gangbang with an octopus. An octopus. Right. 
Um, so what he said is that on land he was quite a womanizer. Womanizer, womanizer, womanizer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and a flirt. I don't know a song about flirting. <laughs> no, that's why I picked the word because there isn't really. Um, and so he wanted to keep that up while he was at sea. And so he had what he is referring to as imaginary sex. OK. So he was just wanking then. But it was the best wanking he's ever had. Was he a little bit like um, heat stroke? He was a bit heat stroke. Did he ha was he a bit delirious? Did he not have enough food and water? And did he think he was having the best se sex in the world, but really he was having a... Seizure. Seizure, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, he said he was lying back and imagining himself with on a beach with beautiful women, and then would have imaginary sex with them. Why? Are, why are there so many people on that boat now? Because they're helping him get off, literally. <laughs> so where, <laughs> where? Where was he found? Just in the boat. <laughs> he was. <laughs> I meant it's where like, was the boat? Disneyland. <laughs> like, and it like drifted a considerable amount of distance from where he was supposed to be for fourteen months. Pretty much, yeah. I don't. I think there's something dodgy about this. I don't think he yeah. set out from um, Mexico and he was found on the island of Ebon. Isle of Wight. Atoll. Yeah, Isle of Wight, seven thousand miles away from where he set off. But how did he eat? How did he? How did he survive, Mike? How? Now here's the thing: he wasn't alone when he started out on his journey, and he was at the end. <gasps> did he eat a person? I'm not saying anything. That's all from the buzz this week. Stick around, because after this, we have a game to play in our game of the week. <laughs> Welcome back, and yes, you're watching Chewing the Cud. We're going to play a little game, and this is one for the man who wants. It says XXX, but we all know it's felched. Many, many men. It's Mike. Don't hate me because you hate me. Nom, 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 nom. Game of the Week. Now it's time to play our Game of the Week. What are we, what are we playing this week, Mike? This week we're playing Lady Susan's Question Roulette. Marvellous. Mm. Are you ready? Indeed I am. Now, I have to be honest with you. The subjects that are on here may not relate to the subject I ask you a question on. Oh. Due to budget cuts. Um, music. So, food and drink question. Wit is the only fruit to have its seeds on the outside. On the Oh, a strawberry. Are you sure? Yeah. Where are the seeds on the raspberry? On, on the raspberry? Uh-huh. I don't know. On the inside. It is a strawberry. Well done, you. Wait till I start chewing. Will you stop eating? No. I'm on a sugar low. Right, next question. Has someone greased this up? General knowledge, that one is. Oh, OK. OK, which is a general knowledge question. An Oscar award features a knight standing... That just made no sense. The Oscar award features a knight standing on what? A drum. Ooh, it's a film reel. Uh, I couldn't have that because um, it's a... It's a Film drum. Yeah, cheers, great. Thanks a lot. I'm doing an impression now. What's this? What's Lee that? Lee grasping at straws. <laughs> Next one. General knowledge. Which is general knowledge. Okay, next one. Released in 1963. So while you're in high school, what was the name of the first Beatles album? <laughs> the Stones, the Beatles, the Rolling Who. It'll always, always be funny. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to say help. In general, help. Oh, OK, OK. Um, please please me. Oh, okay. 
And do you want to know the answer to the question? Do you know, in this lighting, it appears that you have hair. What? It looks, it looks like you've had your head shaved and you've got like a five o'clock shadow on your head. Okay. Just want to point that out. We're going to take your hat off soon? No. No. My hair's so. a mess. <laughs> yeah. Part of it's still in the bathroom sink, though. <laughs> right, next one. Movies. Movies, Movies and TV. Okay, so we've spoken about her already. Whoopi Goldberg has one Oscar to her name, thanks to which movie? The Colour Purple. Try again. It is, it's The Colour Purple. Try again. It's The Colour Purple! Ghost. No, it's not. It's Ghost. It's not Ghost, I'm not having it. It's The Colour Purple. Get your phone out and check it. You're in danger, girl. Um, whoopee. Oh, put whoopee. Whoopee. <laughs> Go back, Oscar. Well, I'll be f***ed. <laughs> well, by she a, got, well. By a what? By a ghost? Te <laughs> technically. I was kind of right because she had an, an awards nomination for the colour purple. Mm -hmm. Let me just read. Has one Oscar to her name thanks to which movie? Not an Oscar nomination. Getting abusive at me because you were wrong. General knowledge. Including the Jokers, how many cards are in a standard deck? Oh, I don't know. Have Loads. Loads. Have a guess. Oh. 35. 54. Wow. That was dull. I'm sorry that you can't make something fun. Sport. Oh. Which is food and drink. Okay. County Down, Northern Ireland, hosts which annual World Eating Championship? World Eating Championship? Uh-huh. Is it potatoes? Uh, I'm genuinely going with potatoes. Okay, potatoes. Okay. Yeah. Um, oysters. Oh, okay. It's part of the hills. Some say they're the festival. potato of the sea. <laughs> Oysters are the potato of the sea. <sighs> oh, the words that have just fallen out of your face are oysters are the potato of the sea. So, Mike, was why was Lee missing for so long? Well, he was in prison for racism. Okay. Okay, so you should remember this one because this is um, a film that came out when you were young. Um, who did Audrey Hepburn play in Breakfast at Tiffany's? Holly Golightly. Correct, well done. I'm a gay man! Mm -hmm. I, With I was born knowing that. Why would you have a southern accent? Because Duck was southern, wasn't he? <laughs> in Breakfast at Tiffany's. And also a very racist Asian man. <laughs> yes, that wasn't good. No, it's Different not aged time. well. So, um, general knowledge. Okay. What are Cambria, Ariel, Myriad Pro? What are Cambria, Ariel, Myriad Pro? Pro? Uh huh, Myriad Pro. Are they Teletubbies? Yes, they're Teletubbies. Tele or fonts, as they're also known. Oh, fonts they are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just re repeated the answer back to you to get the point. Fonts on the compute, yeah. Uh huh. You cause me pain. Movies. Which Willy Wonka and Young and Frankenstein actor passed away in 2016? Gene Wildman. No. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Say the name again. Gene Wildman. Wilder. Thank you. It's Gene Wilder, not Wildman. 
Jack, well, Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder. Oh, what? Jack Wilder. Music. Okay. Are you all right, dear? You look a little. You look. You look like you're slumping there. You look like you. <laughs> wilting, wilting. Um. The artist Frida Cajo came from which country? Mexico. Oh yes. How did you get that one? Because I'm intelligent. How did you get that one? Because I'm intelligent, I know shit. No shit, I don't think it's... I know right, stuff. Fitting away. Ooh, movies. Who really likes movies this wheel today? Okay. All About Eve, La La Land, and which 1997 movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio jointly hold the record for the most Oscar noms by a single movie? Ooh. Now, I want to say Titanic, but I don't think Titanic um, got that many noms. Noms. What a knobhead saying that. He's <laughs> <laughs> noms. Um, <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Titanic because I don't think it was necessarily for acting, but I think it got lots of nominations for things like um, special effects. And, um, and and water. Um, it was Titanic, well done. Oh! Stick around as next. We go in continent. You don't need to know that. We've always been that. We mean intercontinental. As we travel the world and wish you were queer. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we try and understand why Mike started to do hand gestures a lot in Wish You Were Queer. I've been on me jollies, Lee. Have you? I've been on me jollies. Have you been away this year? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. I thought, you mean, so I thought you were like rubbing it in. No, I thought you might have been away somewhere. No, I went for one night in Liverpool. There you are. One night in Liverpool. That wasn't the song. One night only. Um... To, I went to see Girls Aloud okay. in the yeah. concert, not personally. Okay. Um, and um, stayed over one night in a B&B. A bee, 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 bee. <laughs> Didn't do any of that. I stayed in an Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> and that's as much as I've had this year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, earlier in the year, I went to Rome. Or um, just for Yeah, just for a few nights. Just for a few nights? For a few nights. Um, and so I thought I'd do some videoing while I was there. There. When you were there. I was there. I was just doing hand gestures. You said or do a lot. Very just... Italian. Did it? Was it His Excellency that asked you to go over to Rome? It was. Ah. Oh. He, he popped up the phone and said, "Mike, I've not had head for years. <laughs> Down on one knee. <laughs> Both knees. <laughs> Kiss my ring." <laughs> no, I went for work purposes. Oh, okay. Um, but while I was there, I got to enjoy some of Rome. So, work purposes, as in a bit of high class um, escorting. escorting. Yeah. Only drop the being paid bit. And the high class. Ah, but yeah. Um, so I thought I'd got out my camera and did some filming. I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a look round Rome? So, yes, trophy found. So someone tried to mug me at trophy found. At the trophy found? Yeah, yeah. So I had my hands in my pockets, one on my phone, because you do. I'm not fumble. Um, and I came and went, oh no, something on your arm. Show me your arm. I'm like, no, there's nothing on my arm. He's like, no, there is. Show me your arm. I'm like, no, oh no. So yeah, basically the people was with them. They went, we're going now. It's it's always heaving mm -hmm. to the point where it's unpleasant. Yeah. So we went twice. We went in the morning mm. and in the evening. Yeah. Right? To try and get, like, no crowds. And it was quieter in the very late evening. Um, mm. But so at 9 o'clock in the morning, it was so busy. You no. Know, it's not for me. No. I was very disappointed because I've always wanted to go and see the Trevi Fountain. Mm -hmm. Not somebody's sweaty shoulder blades. You didn't need to lick them, really. That's the thing. I was slightly dehydrated. <laughs> yeah, like a salt lick. <laughs> a hamster. Yeah. Um, did you also go to the Pantheon? Yeah. I've got a story. Oh, okay. So we went there. Mm -hmm. It was heaving. Uh huh. And I was like, I ain't queuing. 
Mm-hmm. When Ollie Stone is, I ain't queuing for that shit. Um, and I was manhandled oh. by a ticket tout. Oh. Who was like, um, oh, you, I, I'll get you the tickets, I'll get you the tickets. And I was like, no, thank you. Um, and he he touched me. Oh. Not on, not in my... Not with consent. Not with my, not in my pant area. Um, he started rubbing my tummy. <laughs> and I was not happy with that. <laughs> I had this image of you going... I, I went, <laughs> I went, take your hand, take your goddamn hands off me. Not a piece of meat. Um, lower, <laughs> lower. <laughs> I, 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 and then we, so we, I had a hissy fit and walked off. Mm-hmm. And then we ended up going into to some ruins opposite the Pantheon. Opposite. What's the Pantheon? <laughs> Is that the one that's leaning, no. that, not the leaning tower of Pisa? No, because that famously is in Pisa rather than in Rome. The big, the big one, the big, the big circle. The round one. Yeah. With the big hole in the top. Colosseum. Is that the Pantheon? No, the Colosseum. No roof. Yeah. Or roof. No roof. No roof. That's the Colosseum. That's not what you're talking about. No, I'm talking about no. the Pantheon, which has a roof on. Where's that then? It's in Rome. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a small, it's a, one of the world's oldest churches. I did not go there. Right, it's, it's round and it has an oculus at the top. No. No. So it rains inside. When it rains, and when it rains and it's sunny, Jesus comes down. You see rainbows inside. <gasps> How marvelous! Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so we went there again. Um, if you buy tickets online, you get to skip the queue and everything. Straight in. Straight in. Go. Oh, that's pretty. Straight out again. Straight in. Straight out. Yeah. In and out. No one even flinched. Mm. And what about the Spanish steps? Did you do them? I think I might have done at some point. The, all of the steps. I can't all remember. I can't. You'd remember that. Are they near the Vatican, the Spanish Steps? Ish. It's all walkable. Because when we went, Mm -hmm. we were in a a little apartment thing, complex. Hotel? Like that. Um, Not far from the Vatican. Okay. And there were some steps, but they Uh, weren't the Spanish Steps. There's a lot of steps in there. They were just steps. Yes. (laughs) Just walked down some stairs. But when well, we came Spanish. out of our little... I said, see, <laughs> see, came... senor, there's the Spanish steps now. When we... <laughs> when we came out of our apartment, uh-huh. across the road directly was a massive queue to get in the Vatican. OK, yeah, so you, you were on the Vatican side. Now, while I was there, I thought I'd take an opportunity, because I like to cook almost as much as I like to eat. Okay. So I did a cooking class. Did you? Yeah, and so I, I learned how to make a traditional ragu sauce and pasta. Oh. Right. And that, when you see people doing that, if you invert it and pop it in the past, that's how you make your right, the right shape for the dough. To start, you make, ooh, see? What's this? Ah. That's a camp, one of them. <laughs> 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 oh, OK. So, yeah. Did you do that little flour on the table and the eggy? Eggy. Like, in the egg in the flower, you yeah. mix, you mix, you mix. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, and, I, and then I, we did the roll, because there was a group of us that did it. Um, so I made some new friends, and I uh, had to roll the pasta out and all that sort oh. of stuff. So, yeah. Sounds like an episode of Coach Trip. It was a bit like an episode of Coach Trip. Dude, did you vote off afterwards? Myself. Oh. <laughs> because, yeah. Threw yourself into the Trevi Fountain. Uh, into the Tiber. If, it, oh, into the what? Into the Tiber. What's that? The river that goes through Rome. Did I even go to this place? I don't think so, because you thought it was Pisa at one point. Saw the Leaning Tower. That's in Rome. It's, no. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I'm sure, pretty sure that I, it was in Rome, because we walked through we, the... We saw the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> we saw the Pleasure Beach. <laughs> um, we saw the pier, and the <laughs> pier that mysteriously burned We down. walked through the square. The square? The square where the Pope lives. Vatican City, okay. And um, on a number of occasions. Did you just go to the Vatican? No, I didn't want to. If you went through that square, you went through the Vatican. They go inside the Vatican. Okay. Because obviously I would have set on fire. Um, and it was touch and go as it was. Me landing in a, in a religious country, it was, ooh. <laughs> landing in a foreign ooh. country, so. um, <laughs> release the hounds. There were, I, there was, there were, because the Vatican has their own. It's a Soldiers, country. don't it's a they? Separate country. Separate country. Oh. You have to take your passport and everything now. Yeah? Oh. Mm. You Quite. don't get a stamp, sadly. No. no. Quite attractive. 
the, Span- um, the, 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 um, uh, the guards. The Swiss guard. Mm. Even though they're wearing pyjamas, you'd have a go. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but, so what I did, I did two things while I was in Rome. I thought of you and brought you a gift. OK. This is very nice of me to bring you a gift. Oh, it's so small. It's a magnet. Flip it over to see what's on the magnet. We're just <laughs> There's a chode. <laughs> Is that David? It's just a random penis. It's just a random, <laughs> a random stone statue penis. penis. <laughs> that, that's it's quite um, quite um. Il um pistello. But yeah, so also learned how to cook some Italian food. Okay, and thought I would share. Oh, you've not le- brought any back, have you? I've, I've no, I've not brought it back. I've made some fresh while I've been here, following the recipe. So I brought some tomato sauce uh, that you could see me cutting up in the in the in the picture video thing, and some breadsticks for dipping. Oh, that's pungent! You're actually googling it, aren't I you? I am because I want to know what it means. Translation of il pisello in English: P, little dick. Have you made this? I've made it. Chopping. So I used the same recipe that you saw me making in the in the video when I was cutting and chopping and things. You're waiting for me to go first, mm. aren't you? Yeah. Don't trust you. I know you don't trust me. And you're wise. It's not cold. It's not cold. I've warmed it through. So it's like. That's my zimmin ball. Um, it's no meatballs, is it? I mean, it's nice. Spat it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, it will dip, so I can't have any more now because it looks like. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between that uh-huh. and your ragu. That says more about you. Like, so there's like five different types of tomato in here. Rev. No, no, like they said always use different types. Don't use one like group of tomatoes, use lots of different ones because you get different flavours from different tomatoes. Oh, okay. Well, well done you. Hmm. But yeah. But yeah, I think that's that's enough for now. I'm gonna take this away now. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. Is there more? More more talk about No, that's right. it, that's it. Oh that's it. That's it. Would you go back again? It's not the first time I've been. Oh. Wow. Do you have an ice cream? No. I had a gelato. Um, it's not ice cream. Fancy. And I had pizza, even though I wasn't in pizza country. Did you have some spaghetti bolognese? No. I did eat a lot of a lot of like pasta and things. Call it bread? No. No. Vianetta. Yeah, I had a Vianetta. Well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to look out for our social media at The Could TV in all the usual places. And of course, if you want to catch up with any episodes, we are on YouTube under Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.